Almost every first-person shooter has multiplayer maps, but only a handful have become legendary over the years. We've had countless hours of fun racking up frags in these levels. Here are eight of the greatest multiplayer maps of all time. The U-shaped Wake Island is hands down the best multiplayer map in the entire Battlefield series. It perfectly captures all the best moments from every World War II movie you have ever seen. With a wide variety of respawning vehicles, it's a joy to conquer all the different points on the map. We can't get enough of the frantic multiplayer action this map provides. It ain't easy picking out the best level in a game that's revolutionized split-screen multiplayer shooting. However, we have to go with facility on this one. It's an awesome mix of narrow corridors, large chambers and ventilation shafts. The sheer amount of great hiding spots makes hunting down your friends so much fun. Not to mention the great music that still gives us goosebumps to this day. If GoldenEye brought multiplayer shooting to consoles, Halo perfected it. The improved controls and ability to use vehicles blew our minds back in the day. Blood Gulch was the perfect showcase for this as it forced you to use vehicles to get to the other bases. The best moments on Blood Gulch would be capturing the flag, then zigzagging back to your base in a warthog, hoping you don't get blown up. Good times. Red team has the Not many shooters have a following as hardcore as Counter-Strike, and the same goes for its most popular map, Dust. Developers have upgraded the game over the years, but nobody dared to touch the perfect Dust since 1999. This map is so legendary now that adding anything to it would be considered sacrilege. It will always be a reminder of how brilliant minimal design can be. Fire in the has been planted. Terrorists win. I need some backup. I need some backup. Unreal Tournament took competitive shooting out of claustrophobic corridors with facing worlds. The Earth and Moon gave this map an epic feel, and it was damn fun to play too. It was great to snipe people from the top of one of the towers, and we loved getting the Redeemer and blowing everyone to bits. A truly beautiful capture the flag map and a landmark moment for online shooters. Congratulations, you are the winner. Fight. Quake 3 also has an amazing map set in space called the Longest Yard. There is no cover on this symmetrical mishmash of jumping pads and floating platforms. It's a map for hardcore players who like to test their skills by sprinting and bouncing around while getting headshots. This map never gets old and remains a fan favorite to this day. The Call of Duty series has a lot of great multiplayer maps, but we like Nuketown the most. This map really stands out with its colorful 1950s design and creepy mannequins scattered through the place. The map itself is fairly small, but it's fast and frantic. And of course, a nuke drops at the end of every game. Gold Rush is a classic map in Team Fortress 2 that really shows how much fun a payload gameplay mode can be. One team has to stop the other team from pushing a minecart full of explosives through a desert mining town. Its near perfect balance makes for some extremely close back and forth matches. What's your favorite multiplayer map of all time? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like this video before you go. Double kill. Multi-kill.
Mega kill. Ultra kill. Monster kill.